Welcome to Divine Femme TV. My name is Sarah Rose. I hope you get value from this message. If you do, I would love it if you subscribe and drop me a comment to let me know. I would love to hear from you. Happy full moon. This is being recorded on February 24th, 2024. I will be speaking to the energies that are present right now in the collective, but this is meant to be a timeless message. Everybody's journey is unique and you will land on this video when you are meant to hear this message. This message that wants to come through specifically is for the divine feminine that's been on this journey for a while and has come full circle in really alchemizing your core wound. And when I say core wound, I am using air quotes for the word wound because ultimately in truth we are not wounded we are a whole complete worthy being and this journey this divine feminine journey is ultimately the remembrance of that and coming home to yourself coming home to your heart coming home to who you truly are and embodying that on this earth plane and fully actualizing your highest divine potential in this lifetime and right now if you are resonating with this message you have come full circle in alchemizing your core wound and when I say alchemizing I mean literally taking your deepest core wound that you've likely been dealing with for lifetimes but definitely in this lifetime and you have spun it into gold you are currently spinning it into gold it is turning pain into wisdom and you are able to take this now out into the world this new wisdom and share it in a way that helps empower other people that are a few steps behind and still you know in the midst of this darkness, right? And it's a beautiful, bittersweet process because as you alchemize this, you literally transform and your old self, your old identity is shed like a snake shedding its skin. Transformation has been completed and you are in the midst of a major rebirth and closing out a major cycle in your life that has likely been predominantly uh, been a theme for several years or decades in your life and you are closing out this now and so like I said this is the energy that's coming through right now at the time of this recording but this is a timeless reading this journey happens in waves and so when you land on this message if it resonates and it's meant for you at this time all of the inner work all of the time that you have been really reflecting on old patterns old conditionings old belief systems ways that you've been holding yourself back sabotaging tendencies fear-based coping mechanisms all of that all of that is being used for good. All of that is coming full circle. You are leaving that behind. And now through the light of your own example, you're able to shine brightly and share this newfound wisdom with who is drawn to you that's meant to hear it. And so I tend to attract a lot of way showers, a lot of new paradigm leaders, speakers, authors, coaches, visionaries, light workers, healers, soulful practitioners. And for a long time, you have been hitting your head on this invisible ceiling that's only allowed you to grow so far. It's only allowed you to make so much of an impact, only allowed you to shine so brightly and now you're seeing where you have been capping your own potential and the source of this is what is being alchemized the the source the core wounding that has caused you to buy into these limited belief structures about who you are 
what's possible for you, what you're here to do, and what you're worthy of. So all of these limited structures are dissolving and you are ending a cycle. And this is a major cycle. This is a life altering cycle. This is a cycle that you will remember for the rest of your life that goes down as the moments, the days, the weeks, the month, the most alchemical time in your life that has really catapulted you into a new way of being where you literally are leaving an entire identity that's rooted in fear and shame and unworthiness and guilt and self-doubt and lack of confidence and all of that behind. And so as you find yourself on the end of this transformation and the end of this cycle, which has been a very tumultuous journey to say the least, you are now facing a brand new beginning and you do not see necessarily how this new beginning is going to unfold for you. So I kind of refer to this with clients as this no man's land because you're not able to go back. You know the old version of you is no more. That's not something you resonate with. You're not able to go backwards. Even though your ego still is kind of grasping here for straws, fear-based energies and things like that are kind of like fizzling their way out of your um, energetic field. While that's occurring, there's this new beginning that's on the horizon that you can't see yet, but you know it's there. You know it's on its way. You know that it's coming. You know, not conceptually in your mind, but in your heart. You sense this. You're very, very activated with your intuition. Full on high priestess channel. You know in your heart. You can sense, feel, and know that big things are shifting in your life that are getting ready to completely shift your life into a whole new a whole new paradigm, okay, which also comes with a whole new level of leadership, a whole new level of responsibility, a whole new level of embodiment, right, and accountability and ownership. And you are facing this head on. But right now is a very, is a very beautiful place to be because While you know all of this is on the horizon and it's coming into fruition and you're starting to see pieces of it populate into your experience and you're receiving the signs and the guidance and the synchronicities and your intuition is clear and spot on, you are being guided inward to fully trust in self, to fully trust in your heart and to fully know what you know right? What I mean by that is to fully, fully know what you know inside, like fully, fully know what you know, like lock it in, like lock that in, lock it in to your energetic being, lock it into your knowingness. Like you don't have to second guess that anymore. You know what you know, and that's it. You know what you're meant for. You know what you're here to experience. You know what you're here to allow. You know what you know done. That's it. And it's time to fully own that and trust in self. Trust in the divine. Essentially, those are two sides of the same coin because when you trust in yourself you are trusting in the divine and when you trust in the divine you are trusting in yourself because there is no separation you are the divine a living walking talking breathing manifestation physical vessel of the divine and fully fully trusting in what you know is key fully being able to surrender now to what you know despite the fact that your physical surroundings have not necessarily matched up or appear to align in the way that matches what you know remember the energy 
and the feminine always precedes the masculine and the feminine represents our intuition and our and the subtle realm and our inner essence the masculine energy is how we express ourselves in the world how we actualize ourselves in this world and how we manifest it represents the externalized world of form that always precedes your inner essence clicking into alignment so you're at this place now where you're at a huge shift a huge transformation is taking place and you are shifting into a whole new paradigm but yet you do not see all of it manifesting but you know it and you can trust it and it's safe to trust it's safe to know and it's safe to fully surrender and that's what you're being guided to do right now in full faith and trust, surrender and know that what you know in your heart is truth and you can surrender the process and the timeline and all of the details to something much larger than yourself, something that is you but also simultaneously larger than you in a sense, right? And so as you surrender to this, you open yourself up You're in your receptive energy. You're in receiving mode. Because the divine is working out all of the details and you will be guided to take sacred masculine action. This isn't to say that there's nothing to quote unquote do. This just means that you will be guided towards sacred masculine action. And then you you take those actions with courage and faith. But the feminine is leading the show now. The feminine essence, your intuition, your creativity, your internal guidance system, your knowingness, the divine intelligence that's pulsing through you is leading the show now. When Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss, what he left out of that equation was that oftentimes following your bliss is surrounded by a circle of fear that we create because we're stepping into our new beginning that's unfamiliar and so stepping through that fear following that fear and going through that fear with courage is required at this point which is what is part and parcel for the journey in order to follow your bliss and fully align with what it is you're feeling called to create or do in this lifetime on a deep soul level so right now you're moving into receiving mode the more that you can surrender and trust and the more that you can come into your heart and trust yourself you are a divine vessel your desires on your heart are god given you following your bliss and activating your highest potential in this lifetime is part of your soul blueprint is part of what you came here to do and it is safe to follow that you have done the work to get here you have faced your deepest shadows you have alchemized your deepest wounds you have turned those into gold those are part of your purpose they were always part of your purpose everything that you've experienced up to this point has all been lining you up for exactly where you are now and so this message was a joy to bring through i am so honored to be part of your journey as a soul sister on this path with you and i would love to hear in the comments if this resonated with you where you're at what you're stepping into what you know is true in your heart i would love to hear from you in the comments if you would like support on this journey in fully awakening and embodying your divine feminine essence and fully claiming your sovereignty on this journey then I welcome you to check out Embody the Empress. You can find that below in the caption. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.